All right, what's up? We have the top five games ever sold for the Sega Genesis system, seeing if they're gonna work on our Ray's 128 gigabyte image. Number one is Sonic the Hedgehog with over 15 million copies sold. Let's see how it runs. I took like the worst route I could possibly think. So it runs great, no lag, controls are good. Good game. So at number two, you guessed it, we have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 at six million copies sold. So nowhere near as good as Sonic 1. I imagine that's because the system was probably bundled with, the, with Sonic the Hedgehog 1, similar to why SNES Super Mario World was so popular, but even so, it looks like Sega got their most success with Sonic. No! All right, just like the other one, worked really well, no issues at all. All right, Disney's Aladdin in third place at four million copies sold. I do like how you can skip all these cutscenes. Sorry, I don't know these controls. The soundtrack though. Oh no, Aladdin. Okay, so Aladdin works. I'm just really bad at it. NBA Jam is in fourth place at at least 1.93 million copies sold. Yeah! NBA Jam works great, no lag, controls work good. Nice. In fifth place, Mortal Kombat 2, at least 1.78 million copies sold in the United States.
Man, these computers are pretty good. me. Street Fighter 2 Special Championship Edition as a bonus in 6th place selling 1.65 million copies. I remember if you just keep hitting punch with this guy you start to like electrocute him. Let's see if that still works. Oh there it was. It's actually a little laggy, but it's playable. There's definitely a little bit of delay here. All right, got him. So as you can see, I didn't have too much lag on that round, so it's hit or miss. There you go for the last game. Looking down at this list, you also have Altered Beast, Sonic and Knuckles, Mortal Kombat 3, Sonic 3, Jurassic Park, Miss Pac-Man, NFL 98, and all those games do work for this system. Sonic Spinball, that's also a good one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could, please like and subscribe. As well as there's details in the descriptions on not only how to set up your RetroPie, but also where to get the hardware for your RetroPie. If you can use those links below, it'll cost you the same and it'll help support this channel. We'll see you guys next time.